So this patient is coming in for an evaluation of a slow, swollen um, right third toe. You can see it here. It's been progressing over the last one to two days. Um, differential diagnosis here would be, you know, sort of gout, even though gout's more on the first metatarsal phalangeal joint um, or infection. The only issue is if you look at the back of this or underneath this, if I come around to this side, looks pretty fluctuant, looks like that's an ulcer that's there. So we're gonna see if we can debride that out um, and then sort of see what we get there. This area underneath it looks pretty fluctuant. Fluctuant areas like that, like it's boggy. I'll show you once I'm not holding the actual camera. Um, may not be much sensation over there. There's no freezing in place right now. And all I'm gonna do is pare this down. If it's uncomfortable, obviously we're gonna add some freezing in. We've talked before about how freezing may not work very well when it's actually infected, but we'll see what we get from there. So I'm gonna put some topical antiseptic on this. And you can see here when I push on it, like this is what I mean by bog. You see that gives in a lot. There's just free fluid underneath it. So this may be have to all be unroofed um, or this just won't have a chance to settle down. Now this patient's not diabetic, um, but this is one of the things we worry about with this. So this is our number 15 blade. So essentially with this, I'm just gonna pare down tissue because a lot of times there's a buildup of infection. That's not hurting at all? Nope. It really shouldn't. Um, but if we get to a point where there's a pocket, then it'll drain for us. Now this part may just be callus, we'll see shortly. But I'd be suspicious. No pain there? Nope. Yeah. So you can see that, yeah, pus is pushing through. So this is gonna come up all from up here. You can see when I put pressure on that. Is that hurting? Nope. Good. And this is why we need to be taking this down. So we gotta get to the, there's infection all underneath here. You're okay there? Yep. And that was my suspicion. So this whole area is going to unroof. So this is all callus. And what's happened is it's formed a pocket underneath it. So these won't heal properly if you've done any wound care, um, unless we actually get that to clear. Yep, come on in. Dr. Jane's joining us. So he just had this pocket release through here, up through there. So this is what I thought it might be. So this is why essentially what we're gonna have to do is just take this down a little bit. Not hurting at all? No. Well, it might hurt, very minor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you once we get this finished here so the biggest issue here is just if we can open this up so it's a chance to clear but this whole pocket no there's actually none because typically th these aren't too bad as long as we open up and allow them to drain mm -hmm. um, I always tell the patients if we need to add some we'll add some in but see this whole area here is gonna have to come down and my suspicion is so part of this is we're gonna run some blood tests here as well, because we worry that the, there could be some sugar imbalances that are developing with this. Mm -hmm. Not hurting still? hurt when I do that? No. No, because this when you're pressing on the top, that's what it's hurting more. <laughs> yeah. You feel anything on the back. Yeah, and you can see here this is all callus formation yeah, that's here. That, that will come off sometimes. If... <coughs> so Dr. Jane, I'd, I'd certainly debride this as best we can. Mm -hmm. Now we may do this in stages depending on how open it is. I certainly want to take that down a little bit more. So my suspicion is that this whole area underneath has to come out.
So that area will be raw underneath. But this area here, I think that communicating is gonna have to unroof down through this area. Yeah, I think it is. You're okay? Yeah, I know, I was just looking at this kind of <laughs> funny on this side when you were pushing. So you can see see how that tents up when I do that. See how that pulls. That's so. This is all a big pocket underneath here that's got to come off. It's not hurting. Yeah, I don't suspect. So typically when it's like this, the tissues don't hurt. They're just they're uh, they need to be debrided out. So this is what has to happen here. So you can see how this is just coming off. And you can see how that's just an infected pocket underneath here. So if we don't debride this off, it won't heal properly. So we have to expose this down to normal tissue. Well, sometimes you won't when it's like this, when the infection swells like this. Now this area under here is usually a little bit more uncomfortable, but maybe not if there's a diabetic component. Does that hurt when I do that? No, it's it's the outside. Just through here, you're feeling it. On the, the top. Here. Yeah, yeah. On the top, I mean, sorry. So not too bad. So that should be debrided enough that we can now do dressings that will allow this to heal, and we'll have to put them on an antibiotic. <clears throat> so we're just gonna, we'll stop filming at this point. We're gonna apply a dressing. I'm not gonna be cleaning that much up other than I'm gonna irrigate this yeah. and then we'll go from there.